This is Neil Schneider, MTBS TV at CES 2010. I'm joined by Next 3D. They've had a series of, of really wild announcements this year. Joining us to talk about it is David Cole and DJ Roller, co-founders of Next 3D. Welcome to the program, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Thanks, Neil. Now, uh, we actually had the opportunity to interview you at, I think it was like NAB, or National, or GDC, the Game it was Developers. Game Developers Conference, and at the time you were just starting to talk about the innovation you've developed, so, you know, where are you now? You've got, you've got this wonderful exhibit going. What does Next3D do for our members who are not yet familiar? Well, we're, um, annou we've announced here at the show Next3D TV, which is actually the client for the PC that will allow you to download movies from, from our service. So when we talked before, we talked about platforms. But gaming, gaming consoles. And gaming consoles are still very important to us, but we're also extremely uh, interested in supporting the emerging community of 3D gamers, which you guys represent very, uh, very well. And for that community, the most important client that we have is the PC client. And so we're announced here at the show that the first client that will ship from, from Next3D, the first VOD delivery service will be to the PC. And we're showing it here uh, on, NVIDIA 3D, on the NVIDIA 3D Vision system. Okay, so when we're talking about the NVIDIA uh, 3D system, we're talking about NVIDIA GeForce 3D Vision shutter glasses, I take it. That's right. And uh, it will, will, is Next3D compatible with additional solutions as well? We are. We absolutely are. So we'll work on an ATI solution. Uh, we'll even work on some of the installed base, installed base of uh, Intel onboard uh, uh, GPUs. So it works great on, in, uh, on, on the GeForce product, but it will also work on other solutions, even NVIDIA solutions, uh, NVIDIA GPU-based PCs that, that aren't using 3D vision. Excellent. Now, DJ, the thing about Next 3D, I mean, there's been a lot of attention focused on Blu-ray. I mean, you know, Blu-ray and stereoscopic 3D. Uh, how does how is Next 3D different from Blu-ray for those unfamiliar? Well, for one, uh, you don't need a Blu-ray player. Uh, but uh, as far as the um, as far as the number of films or the types of content that come down, I think some of the content uh, that we can't talk about right now that might be possible through this in the near future are things you might not typically find on a Blu-ray uh, disc. So is this, uh, I mean, are you, are, when we're talking about content, are we talking about like YouTube content? Like what, what, and I don't mean to name a brand name, but I'm talking about the type of content. What, what, what kind of unique things can we start to, to look at through Next3D? Well, one of the things we're looking at right now is uh, user, uh, user um, content that's provided like a, uh, like a Flickr or a YouTube that's uploaded as con user created content. Excellent. So I think another example is you'd, you, you wouldn't find sports, for instance, on a Blu-ray disc. Um, even if you were to watch something that, what, that happened a couple of days ago, you're not going to go out and get it on Blu-ray disc to, to, to watch it in 3D. Uh, not to name a particular genre of content, but that's an example of something that Blu -ray, 3D Blu-ray is never going to give you, but a VOD service could, could provide to you. Now, I understand. Sorry, go ahead. I mean, I could see like a sports um, event maybe initially could be done on a Blu-ray disc just as a as uh, people can see an example of what it might look like, but I agree it's not something that you would, you know, other than maybe pass that night or you want to see it in 3D, you may not want to watch it a week from now. Excellent. Now, you're, you've, you've uh, scored a, a, a very interesting partner for your, for your venture. Maybe you could tell us about one of the major announcements you put out here at CES. Uh, there's a press release that went out earlier this week uh, announcing a collaborative partnership with Turner Broadcasting Systems, um, Time Warner Company, and uh, we're very excited about uh, uh, that partnership. Now, for, for those unfamiliar, because a lot of our members are from overseas as well, maybe you could elaborate a little bit on the types of content that, that Turner is famous for. Uh, well, Tur Turner has uh, a lot of different uh, networks. Um, this isn't necessarily, nothing's been announced as far as to the types of, of content that might. Um, but the, the specific announcements about the collaborative development of 3D content delivery to the home. Um, Turner has quite a few uh, networks and brands that uh, CNN, Cartoon Network, uh, Turner Broadcasting Systems, TNT, True TV. There's quite a, a lot of a uh, uh, lot of variety of networks and content. So uh, there's a lot you can find probably at uh, just at TBS.com or TNT. All those acronyms.com. You can uh, get a good idea of what kind of content they create. Excellent. Well, we're, we're, we learned, you know, from Sony earlier this week that you know they're going to be making the PlayStation 3, 3D Blu-ray compatible via firmware upgrade. And what I'm seeing here through Next 3D is it's a, a digital download service. I take it for for 3D content. Yeah, that's absolutely right. 
has is is standards an issue for for your technology? I mean, one of the advantages I see of digital is that it could be converted for just about anything. Is this true for Next 3D? Do you have to have relationships with all the different manufacturers? How do you get your content on the display? Well, standards are an issue. Standards are an issue in terms of connecting to the display. Um, and so that's something that, that is um, a, a sort of a continuing work to make sure that no matter what our client is running on, that it is, you know, the connectivity between the client and the display uh, matches what's being manufactured now and is going to be manufactured next year. So that, 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 that's an ongoing effort. In terms of the actual format of the content, though, because in the case of Next3D TV, we can ter you know, it's our server serving the content and it's our client that's, dis that's rendering the content. Um, it, the, the format of that, of that interchange is actually less significant. We control both pieces. If, if we woke up tomorrow and said our own internal format, compound entropy, which is a patent pending format for low bit rate VOD distribution, if we were to decide that you know, there was something better on the market, we could simply push an update to our client and we'd be streaming in that format and no one would know. And that, that is true of our own branded product and also this type of service from Next3D will, we believe, show up under private label with some of our partners, our content partners, and the same would be true there. They'd push an update to those clients and the client would never know, I mean the actual customer, end user would never know that the underlying format changed. So we're less sensitive to the content format, we're very sensitive to the display connectivity format and the, the, um, uh, HD, the stabilization of the HDMI specification and uh, some of the underlying driving specifications for how you talk to those displays the most efficiently. So what I'm hearing, one of the key benefits of digital download is, and, and the Next3D software and the business relationships is that despite the format that the content is written in, you have a lot of flexibility to work with as far as getting that content to the multiple displays available in the market. Am I, am I correct? Absolutely. Yep. Excellent. And just one more point. I know you brought up a little bit about the importance of gamers, and I wholeheartedly agree. And we talked a little bit about alternative content. Do you see uh, Next3D becoming like an online viral hub for communities to share content together? Do you, do you have a vision there? Can you speak to that? Or? Uh, well, w one of the things in, uh, um, that we're looking at is with the with respect to what you just said, which was uh, well stated, but yeah, it's a place that people can do a lot of different things to do with 3D, and gaming being one of those, and the gaming audience is very important to us, and the user experience is very important to us as well, so whether it be people um, sharing information, how they connected something, or feedback, this is uh, definitely one of the things we're interested in. Excellent, excellent. Well, congratulations to you both. I mean, it's really something since the last time we, you know, we interviewed each other, just how far you've come in this. And, and the Turner Broadcasting, that's a major, major point in your favor. I congratulate you both for that. And we've been talking to David Cole, DJ Roller, CES 2010. We'll be back.